Everyone who believes in telekinesis, please raise my hand. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. So, so uh, I'm very fond of mathematical puzzles. And I've discovered that as the years pass, I have more and more appreciation for easy puzzles. In fact, it's reached the point now <laughs> where the puzzles I like best are puzzles that I, I can't help myself from solving. So I've gathered a few of those puzzles uh, for the exchange, and I'm going to just, if I have time, I will describe two of them to you right now. Okay, so here we go. So uh, this puzzle actually came from uh, some serious work in the theory of computing, and I've rephrased it in terms of the College Athletics Committee, something probably familiar to some of you. It's the one committee in college that you actually want to be on. Of course, you can never get on. And the reason is that you get free tickets to your favorite events. Okay. So uh, because of that, um, the college forbids anyone for, from serving on the committee who knows already three or more people on the committee. Okay? That keeps the committee from, from getting out of hand and belonging to just some group of people. Um, so that's bad. But on the other hand, if you have a lot of friends of the committee, you can get a free ticket to your favorite event. Okay. So now that brings up a question. Is it possible to design the committee so that everybody gets a free ticket, <laughs> okay? Everyone on the committee has two or fewer friends on the committee, but everyone off the committee has at least three friends on the committee, and everybody is happy, okay? Now, it's not at all clear that you can generally do this, but what can you try? Okay. So, uh, well, the, the, the no-brainer thing to try is to just pick some group of people as a guest at your committee. And, um, okay, so there's somebody on the committee who knows too many people. Throw her off. Okay. There's somebody off the committee who knows too many people, on, who, who doesn't know enough people on the committee. Put her on. Just keep doing this. What can go wrong? Yeah, right, what can go wrong? Actually, there are a few things that could go wrong. <laughs> um, all right. One thing is you could cycle back to the same committee. That wouldn't do you any good. And, but in this particular problem, that's not the only thing that can go wrong. Even if you never cycle back, there are so many possible committees that you could be doing this for a very long time. If there's 100 people on the faculty and you have a very fast computer, you still wouldn't be finished until you know, the sun turns into a giant and melts us all. So this doesn't look so promising. But in practice, if you try this dumb algorithm, just start with any group of people, toss people off if they know too many people, put people on if they don't know many people, then in very short order, even if you do this by hand with 500 faculty members, you will have a committee that works. Okay. It's amazing. It's just amazing. Well, yes, you do have to know what the friendships are. Right? You're given this friendship graph. And uh, so why does this work? I mean, it's just, it's just uh, amazing. Well, um, typically, in a, if you have an algorithm like this, it works and it does work, it works because in some way, as you're doing this stuff, things are getting better. And in what way are, are these committees getting better? Well, they're, they're, they're representing more people off the committee, and they're, yeah, if you think about it, they're, the, the number of friendships on the committee is generally going down because you're throwing people off the committee who don't know enough people, who, who know too many people, and putting people on who know more. So here's what you can do. Right? Every time you, you throw somebody out, you lose at least three friendships. But when you put somebody back on, you only gain at most two friendships on the committee. Okay? So here's what you do. At any time, let m be the number of friendships on the committee. 
Okay. And subtract, subtract from that two and a half times the number of people on the committee. All right. Why two and a half? Now, anything between two and three would work. <laughs> um, it means that you've got a number which is going to go down every time you throw somebody off the committee. And it's also go down, also going to go down every time you put somebody on the committee. So this number keeps going down. It can't go down very far. And in very short order, it can't have no minimum number. And that's a committee which seconds. must work. There's nobody else to throw off. There's nobody else to put on. So that's all there is to it. OK. Here's one that, we can try, that I'm going to encourage you to try yourself. Okay. Oh, uh, first, let me just go back and, and mention my colleague, Deeparnab Chakrabarty, who, uh, who needed to do this um, in order to solve a problem in theoretical computing, and for three, replaced by some general number k and for an arbitrary graph. Okay. Now, this next one comes from probabilist uh, Ander Holroyd, whom some of you know. And it goes like this. N is an eight-digit number with the following properties. The first digit of N is the number of zeros in N. The second digit is the number of ones. The third digit is the number of twos. You're getting the idea. Fourth, number of threes. Fifth, number of fours. Sixth, the number of fives. Seventh, seventh digit, the number of sixes. And finally, the eighth digit is the number of different digits in the number. Okay. Now, when you sent me this problem, I tried to solve it intelligently. Or at least, either it was too intelligently or it was not intelligently enough. I'm not sure. But I found it difficult to actually construct this number. You're out of time, I'm afraid. Are uh, you able to wrap it up? Say again? You're out of time. I'm out of time. OK. Let me just tell you quickly how to do it. Pick any eight-digit number, write down the num new number you get from this algorithm, repeat, and in 13 iterations, you'll have your number. Thank you very much. This is <laughs>